Good day, Michael, Stefan, Noodles. Today is Friday, December 12th. I don't have access to a scale, but I'm definitely losing weight thanks to the Stefan Chin Crack Diet. Music. Ah, music. So I'm wondering. Does anybody else out there have this perma-music-stuck-in-head syndrome? As long as I can remember, I have had a song stuck in my head. Not the same song, I would kill myself. Now it's that little line from one of the songs on the soundtrack of the movie Once, where they say, little steps they escalate. That's all I know of that song. Driving me nuts! iTunes tells me that I have 5,343 songs uploaded. It also tells me that my favorite genre is alternative and punk. Favorite artist, Rocket Summer. Favorite song, Everything is Alright by Motion City Soundtrack. So are you going to judge me about that? Probably. Don't worry, I do it too. I usually use music as a factor in determining other people's open-mindedness. Say, for instance, they have... Artist number one, Hank Williams III. Number two, Carrie Underwood. Number three... Johnny Cash. Number four, Bruce Willis. Heck, I don't care for Carrie Underwood, but they have redeemed themselves by having more than one type of country, as well as something a little quirky. I guess that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but what I'm trying to get at here is that the more variety you have, the wider your perspective tends to be. Next time you're listening to something that's in a genre that you usually lump over into that I hate this stuff pile, maybe you should listen to it just one more time and come up with one reason. One reason why someone would like that song. If you still hate it, well, there you go. But if you think you might possibly sometime in the near future reconsider your hatred for the said song, you may have just opened a fantastic can of worms on yourself. And that is the magic of music. Music's kind of been my life since I was a tadpole. It really befuddles me when I talk to people and they say, I don't really listen to music. What? These people must just, like, avoid J.C. Penny. Something else that kind of disappoints me is the lack of funding for music programs in our country. When I was in elementary school, we had a special day every week where we would go down to Mrs. Sauer's room and we would play our recorders and we would play the xylophones and they had those big plastic tube things that you like hit on the ground and they go boom and then we had like one day there were didgeridoos I don't even know a tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow basket da, 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 da. it's a proven fact that music helps kids grow intellectually so why is it that we're neglecting music in our schools? Music, intellectual growth. School, intellectual growth. Why are these things not together? The school district I grew up in has gone through roughly eight music teachers since I was in seventh grade. I'm only 19. We had one music teacher who taught the high school band, high school choir, high school pet band, middle school choir, middle school band, middle school music classes, it's ridiculous. It's funny though, the sports programs never get cut. I'm not gonna mention any names, but somebody told me I would die if this video wasn't funny. So if you could put a few comments below that just say things like, ha 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 ha